So it's been a while since we did anything like DIY, so that's what I thought we would do today. So recently my grandfather gave me a hutch, and I mean, if you don't know what a hutch is, think of it like a fancy cabinet that sits in your living room and you'd put a bunch of fancy glasses and stuff in it, and then you never use those glasses. You just look at them. You just look at them through the, the hutch and uh, admire them or whatever. But I noticed that it's hard to look into the hutch and look at your glassware if you can't see it. So I thought, hey, let's put some lights in it. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today is put some glassware lights or hutch lights in your hutch. So let's get into it. Oh, and if it's your first time here, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. The first thing we need to discuss is the LED strips themselves. So I used Ledmo LED strips from Amazon. I use these because they're cheap. And I also use these on my under cabinet lighting and I just like the color they produce and I thought they would work well. These LED strips are not going to come with a power supply so you're going to have to pick one of those up as well. I got this one on Amazon also. It is also Leadmo and it's 12 volt 5 amp and it's pretty cheap as well. Now this part is optional. This is a smart outlet. I decided to use this with my lights because I use this on my under cabinet lights and I like how it works. You can turn them on and off of your phone. But you don't have to do this. This is optional. You can use an outlet. You could use a switch, whatever you want to do. If you want to use a smart outlet, pick your favorite brand. You can pick them up on Amazon for dirt cheap. Now these Leadmo LED strips are quite cheap. And because of that, the adhesive they use is quite shitty. So what I did is I use a hot glue gun. It works great to hold these LED strips to any surface. Uh, I've been using it on wood and it's worked fine. You are going to need a soldering iron to wire between the multiple LED strips and some 20 gauge copper wire. Something I didn't show here that I did actually end up using was just a drill. And I use that drill just to put a hole in the back of the cabinet to pass the power wire through. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how long our LED strips need to be. Because these LED strips are gonna come on one giant roll, you need to cut them to the length required. So I went over to my hutch and measured out how long I wanted my strips to be and then figured out how many of the strips I wanted. For me, it ended up being three, so I cut three strips to the same length and I set them aside to solder. So when I did my under cabinet lighting, I learned a great lesson and that is soldering upside down is not easy. So what I did to save myself some sanity this time is I soldered on some leads to just get myself some wire to work with once I had these LED strips mounted. And then I just wired the two leads together. I then got to work hanging the LED strips above every single shelf using of course the hot glue gun. Uh, I used the wire leads that we put on there earlier to run to each individual LED strip, kind of forming a chain all the way down to the power supply so that the power supply could power every single LED strip. I also used some black duct tape just to cover up the red and white wire because I thought the black duct tape would be less noticeable or, you know, less, would draw your eye less than a bright red and white wire. So when it's all said and done, this is how it works. The top LED strip is wired to the middle LED strip, which is wired to the lower LED strip, which is wired to the power supply. And then I drilled a small hole in the back panel to run the wire out to the smart outlet, which is plugged into the wall. I tried to hide the wires in the frame around the edge of the hutch and between that and the back panel. And you can kind of see them when the doors are wide open, but when you close the door, the, the framing on the door kind of hides everything and it's, it's pretty hard to notice any wiring. So after I got everything loaded back into the hutch, this is kind of how it looks when there's no lights on versus lights on. And since I used a smart outlet for this project, I could turn the lights on from my phone and even my dog thought that was pretty cool. Thank you again for watching this video. It means a lot to me to every time we see a new subscriber, a new view pop up, it means a lot to the channel. And I thank you for watching these videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you again and make sure to hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. I hope to see you back in the next one.